Other news tonight, Colton True walked into a Wisconsin courtroom today about a year and a half after his actions killed three Girl Scouts and a parent. Dozens of people impacted by that crash spoke in court today ahead of True's sentencing for the deadly crash in Chippewa Falls. Lua Goose was in the courtroom for those emotional statements. I set up this Girl Scout event. It was my idea to have my troop commit to cleaning a highway. I thought we did everything right. I never knew a monster was going to be driving on County Highway P that morning. Robin Kelly snapped this final photo of her daughter Jaina in her safety vest, picking up trash with her Girl Scout troop along a Chippewa Falls roadside in November 2018. Next thing I know, I hear the sound of a truck plowing at feels like an impossibly high speed through our people. It was Colton True, high from huffing dust cleaner. The truck hit her so hard, she didn't have a chance. He killed Jaina Kelly, Autumn Helgelson, Haley Hickel, and her mom, Sarah Schneider. Their families exposed their hearts in a Chippewa County courtroom on the first day of the defendant's sentencing hearing. It has changed me and them forever. Brooklyn Helgelson, Autumn's younger sister, brought everyone to tears. We were going to live together, open a bakery together, have a life together. And now what am I going to do? My heart will never heal. I have no one to bring me smiles in the morning or make me giggle at bedtime. I can't talk to my big sister when I get scared or emotional because Colton True ran her over right in front of my eyes. The judge has enough discretion to send True to prison for well over 100 years. And that's what the families asked for. I can't envision myself ever forgiving a defendant for what he did that day. My wish is just that he goes away and we never have to hear about him again. I hope the world forgets his name and I hope they remember our girls. And so the hearing will continue tomorrow when the two sides will make their arguments and the judge will hand down the sentence. Back to you.